<laughs> Today's color theme is black, red, and white. very light silver, red, and so forth and so on. Do we live in a color-coded society? Is Philly a little bit of a perpetrator of organized stalking, organized placement, organized everything? If you are part of an organized or orchestrated community. Do you live in a free America? On your beach. And per <laughs> perfect, because the timing of it all, okay, we are across from the, this building which has beach etched in stone. There's a bee here, but, and three ketchup packets. No, 1613. Spruce. And Smedley's directly that way. On a, it's been a while, but on occasion I walk Rudy, um, went 318 South on Smedley. And what does it mean if things keep lining up? And find your beach Corona is perfectly timed to pass someone with a camera. I don't know how it's done, but I was made aware of it. So perfectly aligned and matched up to pass that real estate, which is apartment condos and offices, which has beach etched in stone, all lowercase. So anyway, I'm walking east towards 16th Street, Samuels and Son Seafood Company, pulling away from <laughs> Monk's Cafe, which is funny because Sam's Club, Sam, Son of Sam, all of that is equated with, I guess, a Satanist idea. Uh, Bentley is still waiting for that to be done. Um, here's the Monk's Cafe. I had to look this up, but they've been having work done here as a scaffolding to prove it, but um, Yo Philly, Monks is open AF. Like you, we hate the process of exterior dexteration, you know, ex restoration, <laughs> dexteration, like Dexter, the killer who killed serial killers, but um, AF, it would be like hunt the hunted, you know, kill the killers. So AF, I had to look it up. The only thing I could find that fits their sort of thing, really the only thing I could find, was as F-U-C-K, as F. So I'm afraid to say it because, you know, um, I'm not sure, you know, I don't have that huge of a following, so I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, and I guess that's what it means, because we have to have this odd hipster-ish meets Christian who has to act bad, Monk's Cafe. <laughs> So <clears throat> that's my take on that. Check out the Lore Lodge, L-O-R-E. Uh, Aiden um, is his first name. In fact, the narrator who shows up mostly on camera to tell the stories or the lures, if you will. And his name is Aiden, as well as their producer, Aiden. I forget their last names, but A-I-D-A-N. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence or again, again, hipsters who are really Christian who have to pretend to be Satanists, okay? <laughs> that provides for a certain type of person, right? Um, <clears throat> or the other way around, who winds up, you know, in Happy Valley, Happy Valley, Penn State areas, you know, Levittown, certain areas of uh, Pennsylvania, Kinder Van, uh, here with these shuttled um, and someone who has to say spiders because she might come from a family that spiders people creates webs around people so aren't they cute in little green and beige all those kids carted around they have a shitload of money 
who has the money and who doesn't. So um, if you're carted around for kinder, kinder care in Center City of Rittenhouse Square and you're raising your kids here, you probably are doing okay. There are single people who can just barely make it by not having a car, nothing else. You would never have kids to pay for kinder care. But anyway, we'll talk about spiders later, but you don't want a cobweb like Corona Beach passing by in front of the beach address. In a way, it could feel cobwebby. So anyway, back to the Lore Lodge. These folks, this guy took on this project and I guess the producer went along with <laughs> um, But um, these guy, this guy took on this idea of narrating sort of really the stories or the even the depositions if you will of witnesses the testimonials the testimony of people talking about missing people he does mostly missing and or murdered i think it's like a missing it's sort of like david Pallades or Pallades or however you pronounce his name um he's notorious david for being on coast to coast am radio and for trying desperately to find answers to things that remain a mystery. Rarely do you get a solid good answer, which flies in the face of the justice system and sort of continues to promote, you know, a church mentality or similar or anyone anti-government. Um, the problem is there are actual victims. So like, how do people be held accountable for, you know, being a perpetrator or a predator upon the victim? And if the victim is a nice person, you know, the victim doesn't always want to want people to get in trouble. Um, it's like, is there, I just want to know why this went on, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, but if you're dead and missing, that's a problem. Um, but it's, I, from what I hear, the Lure Lounge probably believes in the power of justice and apprehending people who continue to do heinous things against fellow humans. Like, what's going on? Um, unless it's a tit for tat, but often the victims or the missing in his stories seem like they come across as like regular-ish people who wouldn't have a lot of beef with like the mafia or anything so, or the, the government. I have no idea. So anyway, um, but he usually sits in um, a home that's very old Pennsylvania, stone built, you know, almost like a stone cabin-ish type feeling. Poconos-ish, um, and you get it, Poconos, poke, and no. <laughs> so anyway, um, but he will read <laughs> or tell the story of a missing person, and they will even go out and trace the steps. They will take a hike on a mountain where someone went missing. Um, so they do things like that to see what comes up, like, okay, you know, it is, this path could get a little rough, like people could get lost and so on and so on. So anyway, I'm walking north on 16th Street. And from what I hear, um, there is a funeral today.